Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Sathus. I'm gonna show you eight tips for making mincemeat kebabs. Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so for the purpose of this video, what I've got in front of me is two bowls of beef. Now already visually you can see that there's a difference. So let's start right from the top. Number one, like I always say, make sure you're using very fresh mints. This one here is from the supermarket. As you can see when you pull it apart, it's all brown. You'll find that most supermarkets actually spray their mints to keep it red. Now, that tells you a number of things. Number one, it's not fresh. Number two, it's been sitting around. Number three, it's thawed. When you thaw mints, that's how it goes brown like that. Now, already in my hand, you can see this isn't sticking at all. So, if... You can make that work on a skewer, but it's going to be very hard. Whereas, this one here, I've got this from my butcher. And just look at that. You can actually just make it into a large meatball in your hand like that. And when you pull it apart, it's nice and fresh. Now, butchers aren't that stupid to put Ford mints out. If you are in doubt, say to your butcher, look, I need a fresh, they'll understand. Number two, let's talk about fat content. So the one from the butcher is a 80% meat to 20% fat ratio. This is pretty standard practice with most butchers. Whereas the supermarket one here, it's generally very lean. Now lean is bad. When you're making kebabs, it's very bad because it's gonna go dry, it's not gonna stick together and it's just gonna burn and just be a waste of time. Now the supermarket ones, they're usually about 85% to 90%. So they've only got around 10% fat. So that is not good. If you're making something like a bolognese or something like that, that's fine. But if you're gonna grill this or make burgers or anything like that, that's not good. You need the fat. Number three, ensure that when you're working with your mints, it's cold. Now, I've just gotten this straight out of my cool room. That's with both bowls. So keep your mints cold. When you're working with it, it needs to be cold or else it's just not going to work, it's going to fall apart, the fat's going to separate. Now, if your mince does go warm, there's a number of things you can do. Number one, put some cold water in there, just a touch, icy cold water. Number two, put it back into the fridge, let it cool down, and then work with it. Don't rush it, because if you're going to rush it, it's going to fall apart, and you're just wasting your time. Just do it right in the first place. Now, number four comes down to how you season your mints. Now, if you're gonna put any liquids in there, like onions and sauces, oils, anything like that, you need to realize that's gonna have an effect on it. It's gonna lose its stickiness. So, in my case here, I've got a bowl of grated onion. Now, if I just put that in like that, you might think it's all right, but it's not. You need to squeeze. You need to get that excess juice out because that's going to create problems. So just keep squeezing until all that juice comes out. Alternatively, you can put this into a sifter and squeeze it in there to get it out. It doesn't have to be a lot, but get that excess out. Now, number five comes down more to how to actually use it if it's already gone bad. So we know this one's fine, it's sticking, so that's no problem. So we're going to leave that to the side and we're going to bring it across the supermarket one. So I'm going to show you guys a trick. If you find your mince isn't sticking, don't go adding eggs, breadcrumbs, anything stupid like that because that just ruins it. That creates a cake. That's not what we want. Instead, I've got one kilo of mince here. What I'm going to do is add one tablespoon of cold water and to that kilo of mince, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of bicarb soda. Alternately, baking soda. Now you will be surprised, but this makes a huge difference. So for every kilo, add a quarter teaspoon of it. Don't add more, because it's gonna ruin the final effect. Now just give this a quick mix with your hands. Another tip is make sure you do actually work your mints. Don't just add everything in and hope it will be good straight away. You need to actually work it with your hands like this. So guys, look at that. Just by adding that baking soda, it's starting to stick.
And what we've just done is revive that mince. So as for number six, let's talk about once we actually start to cook it. So our minces are ready, I'm not going to season anything, I'm just going to keep it very simple for the sake of the video. Now if you're going to skewer these now, make sure your grill is ready as well. Unless you're going to put them into your fridge and they're going to fit in the fridge fine. Because if you skewer these and leave them outside, they're going to go warm, they're going to fall straight off. So my grill in this case is ready on high heat. So what we're going to do is skewer these. So I'll start with the supermarket one, which is this one here. So guys, as usual, have a bowl of warm water here. Grab about a handful of your mixture. Just against the bowl, you want to turn it into a bowl like that. And just for now, look at how well it's sticking. This is the one we added the baking soda to. Just in your hand into a cylinder shape. Then get your skewer and you just want to guide them in straight on then from the top push onto your skewer using your thumb turn your skewer around wet your hand again and repeat on this side turn it over and repeat one more time take that excess off and that's looking good now remember there's a supermarket one you can see how lean it is by looking at it so that's ready we'll set that to the side and we're gonna bring across the butcher one so repeat again wet your hand get a handful of your mixture Once again into a cylinder shape and get your skewer guided straight on and from the top push down, turn over, repeat, turn over again and repeat one last time. So guys, remember that's the butcher one, this is the supermarket one, just look at that colour difference. So let's move on to our grill now. So guys, as for tip number 7, as I said, make sure your grill is very hot. Do not cook this at a low temperature. What's going to happen is the fat's going to melt, it's going to fall right off the skewer. High temperature, it's going to sear onto the skewer, that's what we want. So the first one I'm putting down is the supermarket one. Second one is the butcher one. Now leave it, don't touch it. After about 30 seconds, we're gonna flip the skewers. Reason for this is we're gonna seal the meat. Now leave it again, don't turn it again until it's sealed. So another 30 seconds, we're gonna flip it back. And as you can see by the color, it's searing onto the skewer. So your chances of it actually falling off now are almost completely gone. Now, as for number eight, don't turn it too much. I see so many people, they turn it every two seconds. You're just asking for it to happen. It's going to fall off. Just let it cook. Every, say, 20 to 30 seconds, flip your skewer until it's cooked all the way through. That's all you need to do. So guys, that's the last tip, number 8. So what I'm going to do is every 30 seconds flip this now. Okay, let's serve. So first one is the butcher one. And just look at how nice and juicy that is. Second one is the supermarket mince. As you can see by the colour, it's more dry. That's because the fat content is less. But guys, you get the idea. As for the inside, just look at that, beautiful. That one's obviously more juicy. So guys, that's all there is to it. So I hope this helps you guys out. It's pretty straightforward. 
everyone can do this. It just takes a bit of practice. I hope you like that, guys. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom, and I'll see you all next time.